I have said that we we have a problem of corrupt police officers, corrupt immigration officers. I have received a lot of complaints. The president has received complaints even from his counterparts outside this country that as a country we have elements within the public service who are corrupt. And I am saying this again for the avoidance of doubt. <coughs> that whereas we have very patriotic police officers who are going out of their way to secure the country, sometimes with their own lives, we have others who are corrupt. They are taking bribes. They are harassing motorists. And the same case applies to our immigration officers. I therefore want to say, yes, we have a problem. And I want to inform your committee chair that I'll take leadership in cleaning up the mess that we have in the agencies that fall within my ministry. As I have said, I have received credible intelligence that could suggest that part of our problem in the processing of passport is a corruption problem. And in my second accountability statement, which I gave in May, I admitted we have a problem with immigration. And um, I want to commit that I will provide leadership there. We will clean Nyayo House from corruption and all manner of crimes. There are good officers who are there serving the country very patriotically, but there are few. There are few. That is the problem. There are others there collecting bribes and harassing the people of Kenya to get services which they should be getting for free and as their rights. So, uh, Chair, I have managed uh, greater challenges in the last 10 months. And I think since some of the issues that were really running out of hand are now manageable. I will take the challenge which has been given to me. I will spend a bit more time physically to provide the leadership that we require and clean up that Nyayo's place. Many Kenyans have suffered from that place. And we will take very drastic up, uh, action if need be, we'll seal off the place and declare it a scene of crime. Because you cannot have a public office where people, I have sometimes done impromptu visits there at very odd hours. As early as 6 a.m., you'll find Kenyans queuing all the way to Teleposta. I don't know, it's a bad image. And so we will read that place of all criminals including the brokers who extort money around there i have already made this week i have had a very candid discussion with the ps and the director of immigration and we have agreed on what to do and it's not going to be business as usual we must clean up because with that kind of situation then it appears to me that perhaps some of the challenges we are having around terrorism could be perpetuated through some of these uh, practices. It's going to be impossible going forward for a person who does not qualify to get a passport or an ID of the Republic of Kenya. And the solution is not in punishing some people come from certain parts of the country and presenting them to 
long delays. I was in Moyale two months ago. And I, w I, w I was shocked that there are children there who are 21. They, start, they applied for IDs at 18 and three years until now. They do not have identity cards. That is not the solution. The solution is cleaning up the place. And I commit I will do the job. 